The locals loved it and got used to the quiet life. But along with the hunt, the men came up with something like a zoo and organized cages for wolves on one of the plots. After another hunt, they managed to take two predators alive. So they were placed in cages so that all the locals could look at them. Few people sympathized with the animals. But among the villagers, there lived a boy who more than once saw hunters come with dead wolves. It was unpleasant for him to look at this. And when he found out about the cages, he decided by all means to free the animals. To begin with, he decided to trace how and by whom the wolves are protected. And on the first day, after lunch, I went to the same site. He took half a loaf of bread with him, did not take meat. His parents could suspect something was wrong. He made his way to the ill-fated site in a roundabout way so that no one would see him. When the boy came very close to the fence, he saw cages with wolves five meters away. They clung to each other in fear and shot away at every suspicious sound. Everything inside the boy shrank. He broke the bread into two halves and threw it into the cage. The predators were so hungry that they ate it greedily. Now all I had to do was figure out how to free them so that no one caught them. As it turned out, the wolves were almost not guarded. Only sometimes, the owner of the site appeared from the house. But he could not be afraid. There was a forest nearby, and if anything, it would be easy to escape. On this day, the boy did not do anything, because he still did not really figure out how to help the predators. Moreover, the owner of the site has a dog, which, if anything, can bark. He returned home sad, but his heart was lighter. Now he was firmly convinced that the place for wolves was only in the forest. All subsequent days, the boy periodically visited the captives, fed him a little, and at the same time remembered the location of the site. Finally, he discovered a loophole through which the wolves could be released. By the way, predators have already got used to him, and at the usual time, they were waiting for him in their cages. They were glad not so much for the bread as for the attention and care of the little man. It is strange, of course, why the boy sought to free the predatory animals. This is known only to himself, and he never betrayed his secrets to anyone. On this day, he mentally prepared himself for the fact that he would end the captivity of wolves once and for all. My father kept tools in the barn. He did not use them so often, because he worked on shifts. In the morning, the hunters went to hunt. Until the evening, they could not be expected. The owner of the site left somewhere that day, and the cages with predators remained under the supervision of the dog. The boy, as usual, went up to the fence and began to unscrew the wire. It was rusty and gave in easily. Surprisingly, the dog was silent. The boy made a passage and entered the site. The animals in the cage fussed, but did not make noise, realizing that they should not attract attention. He reached the cages normally, and when he began to open and release the wolves, the dog barked. It was necessary to act. The boy grabbed a stick and threw it towards the predators. They rushed to the passage in the fence and a minute later disappeared into the forest. The boy hurried back home. Parents did not suspect anything because he managed to return the instruments to their place. In the evening, they began to talk about the fact that the wolves had run away. But who did it? They did not understand. Only the father unambiguously looked at his son.